It's been a brutal day in Catalonia. It's left hundreds of voters battered and bruised, injured following clashes uh, with the Spanish National Police. This was a day that was set to go a long way to deciding the future of Catalonia. And instead, well, that future uh, looks more uncertain now than ever. The images that will be beamed across the world for days to come will be felt uh, very finely here uh, as uh, images of uh, old ladies being uh, set aside by Spanish National Police, uh, being left blooded and battered. And uh, we've also seen other images as well, rubber bullets reportedly used as well uh, as uh, clashes between both the Catalan police and the Spanish National Police as well. It certainly has left a very sour taste for many of the Catalonians, regardless of what they would have voted in this referendum. Uh, certainly, as far as the Spanish government have been uh, concerned, they've come out and said that, uh, that, that no vote has indeed taken place here in Catalonia. But for the Catalan authorities, they've been quick to condemn the actions of the Spanish police. Batons, rubber bullets, the unjustified violence ordered by the Spanish government against people who were defending ballot boxes, papers and polling stations perfectly describes a dreadful exterior image of Spain of shame that will forever be in our memory. Despite the violence, many of the Catalonians were able to cast their votes. The polling stations, many of the polling stations remained open.